Hello everybody, my name is Shadow, and welcome back to Doom Eternal. Nightmare 100%. We just got done with level 2, and we're moving on to level 3. You can now find the remaining Hell Priests by activating your Celestial Locator. The second Hell Priest is located in the northern region of Earth. I will calibrate the portal now. The hub has several areas locked off due to power constraints. Once power has been restored, you will be able to access the entire ship. And uh, one more time, yeah, I'm gonna change my skins every episode, <laughs> so here we go. I'm using the Zombie Slayer one today, which is a very cool looking one. Uh, I just thought it would fit the next level. Rising, re-establishing power to core and supplementary systems. The ice bomb modification to your equipment launcher has been completed. Once fired, the bomb will douse nearby enemies in freezing gases. You'll have to manually toggle the launcher to fire either ice bombs or frag grenades. The Ripatorium is what this is called. Punish demons in the prison. And in here plays the best song ever, so I'm not going to talk during this. Ah, BFG Division. The best song uh, from any Doom game, in my opinion. It's just so good. <laughs> and yeah, uh, I'm a bit rusty. It's my first time getting on the game to play today, so... Uh, gotta get back in the flow. Now, I can go do the mission teleporter, but I have a lot of points to spend, actually. I don't have any batteries, which kind of sucks. Uh, I want to save my points for the two weapons we get in the upcoming level. Because uh, we have there's so many upgrade things in this game, <laughs> really. We got... Uh, these are for weapons. These are for weapon mastery. These are for the suit. And then these are for the ship. And then we also have runes that we unlock, and then weapon upgrades that we unlock in the game. Uh, there's a lot of upgrading to be done, but we are going to get 100%, so, yeah. This is an ARC broadcast. To any ARC personnel or survivors operating inside the Hellified Zones, please be advised. More Doom Slayer sightings have been coming in. Arc leadership do not recommend any attempts to communicate with the Slayer directly. Please avoid all contact with Doomguy at this time. While it is clear that the Slayer is an enemy of the challenge, it is unclear if he could also be a threat to civilians. I'm not. Don't worry about it. I will be listening to those broadcasts because they count as a codex entry. Anyways. With the Celestial Locator now in your possession, you are able to pinpoint the locations of the remaining Hell Priests. D. Granak, leader of the UAC Division, responsible for Earth's invasion, has been located at the remote cultist Arctic base. Infiltrate the encampment and neutralize Ranak. And, uh, speaking of upgrades, we're introduced to challenges for this mission. I have to get a Sentinel Crystal, ignite four demons with a single flame belch, and destroy an Arachnotron turret, all of which are very... Very easy to do. 
Led by the elusive Hellpriest Deeg Renak, the cultists operate from a remote facility located in the Arctic Tundra. As overseer, Renak exerts absolute control over the facility and its legion of possessed acolytes, instrumental in sowing the seeds of the cultist uprising. Renak worked briefly with Olivia Pierce at the Mars facility before departing to Earth with orders to prepare the groundwork for the imminent Hell invasion. A recently declassified UAC biography for Renak indicates that he's a surviving member of the original order, the Deeg, and the ancient Argenta clerics. He now serves the forces of Hell and is rumored to have personal knowledge of the Doom Slayer, suggesting a shared history between the two. Wielding total power over the cultists under his supervision, he uses his growing influence to advance the consumption and corruption of Earth. Built over the ruins of an ancient Argenta settlement, the cultist facility has been designed as both a gothic monument to the ancient architecture and a state-of-the-art science facility. Tablets and memory banks found at the settlement indicate that the Order of the Deeg discovered Earth millennia ago and found it to be populated with powerful primeval beasts. These named They named these creatures Agadons due to their similarity to the mythic Cyclopean giant from Argentina's past, the Agadian. Yeah, I can see some gothic architecture. <laughs> I feel like they threw in the architecture line as like, uh, hey, look at how good we did on this level design. <laughs> That hurts way faster than I thought it did. Oh god. That wasn't supposed to happen. I'm not even sure how that did happen. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not supposed to be able to move during those cutscenes for the collectibles. <laughs> oh well, I'm just in low health. I have six lives. <laughs> Facility. I cannot pinpoint his exact location at this time. Secret. Those were revenants. We're gonna be seeing. Actually, no, we've been already been introduced to revenants. I don't know why I thought this was their first appearance, but no, that's back in Exultia. came from that really hurt. I'm gonna drink some water real quick. <laughs> Welcome, Slayer. Is my time making end? Yes! Let's see if you're strong enough to survive this cursed city. Fun little tip for those guys, also that squeaking sound was my chair, which is so loud. For those kind of zombies, I'm gonna call them Terminator zombies. Uh because they look like the Terminator. Slayer has arrived. All mortal challenge. You can body shot them with the sniper and they get one tapped into a glory kill. Ow. Excuse me, that hurt. Okay, no more being dumb, let's actually try hard. <laughs> It's hard for me to fight good and talk at the same time. 
so I can kind of only do one or the other. I guess I can't connect to Steam right now, that's okay. Now I know that uh, I didn't really fight good there even though I wasn't talking, but like, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, kind of do this, it's a little tricky. Yeah, you're supposed to go this way, but I just don't really do that. shield guys. Actually, you know what? I am going to hit tab. Yeah, they're for the plasma rifle. Kind of weird it shows up as energy shields instead of, like, the name of those soldiers, but whatever. I'm going to save this arena. Hold on. I'm gonna this over here. It's a secret tool that will help us later. I kind of forgot to mention it, but this is the level we're introduced to the Maculus. I need to keep moving more. I'm moving way less than I need to. Like, I'm getting way too close to death here. Last second, let's go. <laughs> runes, do I want... Alright, these are the three runes I always play with, because that's just my playstyle. So do I want faster or farther? I think for right now I'm going to do from farther away. Because you may notice I love to spam glory kills. <laughs> that's just the way I play the game, and so doing them faster and more... Uh, that's just how my playstyle is. If you want to use the equipment Fiend, where uh, things recharge faster, that's up to you. That's just not my style. Remember that secret tool I said? There it goes. These are whiplashes, and I hate them. I hate whiplashes so much. I'm out of ammo. One great thing about that rune is it allows me to launch into chainsaws from farther as well.
Now, most people would pick Remote Detonation, but I really like Lock on Burst, so <laughs> I'm gonna do Lock on Burst. We'll get them all eventually, just not right now. But yeah, like this next room is pretty much made for Lock on Burst. All that just to lose more health because I'm stupid and I'm getting too close to them. But yeah, I'll show you lock on burst in this next arena. It's my fav it's one of my favorite upgrades. Neat. That's a really cool gate. The beast hurts near to me, my brothers and sisters, but he is weak. Your hate must match his will. Only then will you be truly safe. Also, it can do this to whiplashes and one-shot them. I'm definitely not moving as fast as I should be. Getting better, though. Do you have enough points where I'm going to start upgrading stuff? I'm saving them for the next weapon because I like to upgrade that immediately. Uh, but I can afford to do lock on speed increase by 50. And then that's it because I need to save nine of these for the next one. Don't Your worry, we'll upgrade everything eventually. Lies in his destruction. The myth of the Slayer's strength is exposed now to us. Can you see it, brothers? He has lost the resolve to continue. Yeah, I definitely have. I it feel like he's taken a nap. So. I must survive this. Protect me in my time of need, and you will secure your place in the new world. That's a lot of armor. You do get a secret for killing all these guys, though, even though they can't attack you. shotgun is nearby a relic from your past the priests have kept it hidden from you in this remote location dang i almost got that 
This is the elevator room. And it's a lot of fun. Saving them for bigger guys, like this. Cue balls are a lot of fun. That room is actually very difficult. Um, I am on Nightmare, right? Yeah, okay. That didn't seem that hard, honestly. <laughs> but I've played through this room however many times throughout my gameplays. And then we did just get the auto map, so this is what this level looks like. I haven't been doing that, but yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna go for loot magnet, because getting more resource drops from farther is so much more useful. It means I less movement, but still, it's just good. And again, we're gonna max everything out anyways, so I just go for what I want right now. I'm shaking my camera there because sometimes this game will turn on motion blur for me and I don't want that on. I think that's all the secrets over here. I usually miss some of them on this level. So I just want to double check that I got everything. Like this one. See, I always forget something on this level. Secret encounter. I feel like music should have played during that. I'm not quite sure why it didn't. Oh, I meant wait. Oh, that's so cool. That opens up after uh, I do the challenge. Never noticed that. That's a nice detail. Because, yeah, I assume it's pretty easy to fall back down here. I love this cutscene. No, no, 
connections successful. You are now in control of the Revenant drone. You may use it to reclaim your property. Oh, why am I looking up? <laughs> yeah, we got a whole bunch of controls here. This is the easiest section in the entire game. It's like impossible to lose. Like I could just shoot myself all day. You can see his guts there. And uh, real quick, I'm going to assume they threw this into the campaign because of battle mode, which is where you can play as demons, so it's a nice little way to show off that, yes, they have the technology to let you control the demons. By technology, I mean, like, that's a game mode. Go play battle mode is what they're trying to say. Now, uh, this is why I was saving all the upgrades for this. Look at how slow this reloads. Now, I'm gonna max this out immediately, because the super shotgun is my favorite weapon. So, reload speed increased by 33%, and meat hook re decreased by 25%. So now, I can do this. It's so much faster. And then, uh, that's actually our first mastery challenge. Let me explain what that is. Uh, when I get both these upgrades, we unlock the mastery challenge. Which, uh, I have to kill 50 demons with the super shotgun while using the meat hook. And that is, it will set on... F and the meat hook will set enemies on fire for a short time, causing them to drop armor from a super shotgun blast. So, I have to do the challenge to get the final upgrade, which is very good. You know what, let's just open everything. Let's make it a party. This may have been a mistake. Yeah, this may have been a big mistake. Well, I survived it. <laughs> that was just a little bit difficult. Uh, I should have enough of these where I can start upgrading my suit. I want faster weapon switch. That is the best one in the game. It is so useful and faster movement. Uh, dash refilled more quickly. Very good. So now, what the faster weapon switch means is I can do this. If I I had I don't know ammo. So I can do this. Which is a very good combo.
Attention, all cultist base personnel. Please destroy the slayer. The priest must survive. I repeat, the priest must survive. I'm gonna be farming this meat hook challenge for a bit. Because I want to get it done as fast as I can. Soldier, and then we fight soldiers. Why are there spikes <laughs> just down there? It's a little weird. Okay, so that's interesting. But we got a parkour room. bud. <laughs> Man, there's still so much of this level left. I can't believe it. Now this secret encounter I actually usually struggle with. So we're gonna see how this goes. But that went pretty well. Thing. I like to try and line this up. It's hard to do that though. But like spin with the spinning sphere. Into Sandy's city. There's oh. There's so many gross guts and stuff down here. It's so gross. secrets over here though. Wee. Actually that I think that's the only secret over here. No thanks. I'm good.
Yeah, they do have shotguns. That's why I need to stop getting so close to them. I say as I immediately use my grapple hook to get close to them. Here we are, this is the Slayer Key Room. We got this big guy up here. Ah, that's wild. One thing I'm really kind of disappointed none of the levels have is an area where it's like, you see torches or candles, and you use the flamethrower on them, and they like reveal a secret. I always thought that was a really big missed opportunity. Oh, I thought I could parkour. Nope. Gotta go back up. But before we do that, we have a Slayer Key. So we put the Slayer Key into the Slayer Gate. And we grab the Gore Nest. And we go on a huge murder spree. Those are Prowlers. I could do a mastery challenge for Prowlers. Give me a sec. I got upgrade Lock on Burst. And now I have to kill 15 Prowler Demons with the Lock on Burst. And that's hard because Prowlers can teleport. a little bit slowly on purpose, but we did it. Now we got our second Empyrean key. And we can move on now. And something, oh, there's the spine there just is so gross to me. Ugh. I don't like it. It's disgusting. <laughs> I do not fear you. Yeah, you do. This match is not won yet. Come find me, Slayer. You do fear me, though. That's why you're running away instead of fighting me, you coward.
Uh. Alright, there's a very fun thing that we can do uh, on this little arena here, so... Very fun using infinite full auto. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to my health though, I was just trying to keep track of my aim. That revenant and that with flash without shooting them, which is funny. The priest has stopped moving. I will lock in signal now. Okay, um, we got all of the secrets. Don't know if I missed any one ups. I think I got them all. Except for that one, which. I always forget, actually. So let's go get it really fast. Yeah, I always forget this one. It's just right down here. And then, I'm pretty sure, no more one-ups, got all these. That's the end of the level, there we go. But there's something I have to read at the next level because of reasons that I will explain in a second. <laughs> so here we go. I did get all my challenges, right? Yep, good. Okay. level 200. I want to see these, though. Neat. Okay, now, I am going to read this because um, I usually quit to menu between levels. We're not going to play this level yet, but I'm just going to read this front text. So, the hunt for the priest through his arctic base has brought you to the Doom Hunter Research and Excavation Facility, where the final showdown will take place. Knowing he must face you, he has reconstructed an old enemy as his sentry to protect him. Defeat the Doom Hunter, and the priest will fall. I will see you guys in the next episode where we will actually play this. I just needed to read that because it does not show up if I were to exit to main menu and come back to the level. So there's the text. I will see you guys in the next level where we will fight the Doom Hunter. <laughs>